Hello friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing about the assignment number 2B that is Docker assignment of laboratory practice to web application development. So let's see the problem statement for this assignment. So the problem statement is create Docker container environment. Uh, so here they have given one example for that is NVIDIA Docker or any other. So for this assignment, we will need some softwares. So let's took a, take a look at the softwares that we will be using. So the first software that we will need is the Docker desktop. So here, if you are having the Windows 10 or Windows 10 or 8 plus one higher, then you can install this Docker desktop. And if you are having the low, low end PCs like uh, Windows 7 or XP and all, so you can install the Docker toolbox. So both the links are mentioned in the description box. You can download them from the links. The next software that we will need is the Node.js. So if you click on this, you will be re redirected to this page. Then click on this downloads and download the installer as per your system, uh, either for Windows, Mac or Linux. For 32 bit and 64 bit, it's available. But for 32 bit, it will need 8.1 Windows or higher. So it will not be able to run in Windows 7. So these are the two softwares that we will need and as usual we will need one text editor. So I am using Visual Studio Code. So now let's start this assignment. So I have already installed the Docker, desktop, uh, Docker toolbox because I am using Windows 7 64 bit. So after installing you will be able to see the Docker quick start terminal and kinematic alpha on your desktop if you are not able to say it then you have to verify whether it's installed or not by writing in your search bar docker quick start terminal then you have to click on it and for the first time when you start it it will take some time and it will install some softwares and all so you have to allow all the uh, prompted messages you will get you will able uh, you will be asked to install the visuals to uh, sorry uh, virtual box then get allow them all if you deny any one of them then it will be not installed successfully and you will get error while implementing the assignment after it's successfully installed you will be able to see this symbol and then you can uh, type your command as docker space hyphen hyphen version to verify it successfully installed or not so it's successfully installed so now I'll show you uh, for the first time when you install you will see here that setting docker configuration on the remote demo. So this uh, messages you will be able to see when you install this for the first time. For the docker toolbox uh, I am saying the next you will have to install the node.js but uh, as it needs windows 8.1 or higher so I am not able to install it but it is not necessary for this assignment. Then next is we have to install the extension named docker. So go to your visual studio code and from the left pane click on the extensions and search here docker and you have to install this docker which is from Microsoft. So I have already installed it. You will see here option for installing. Okay. Now after installing we will import one folder. So for that go to the file click on open folder and choose any folder so i have created folder on the desktop so inside this i'll create one new folder and make sure that you rename the folder with lowercase only so i have opened the folder now Inside this folder part B, I'll create one file with docker file. Okay, so for that, you have to remember that D should be capital docker file and you don't have to add the extension, uh, file extension. Here you will see automatically the docker symbol and then you have to hit enter. Now my docker file is created. Now I'll create one JS file. So I'll create with name yogesh.js and inside this js i'll write some console commands uh, some text inside the console console.log in parenthesis and in double quotes 
I'll write some data. Name, then class, I'll write T, then subject, I'll write. LP2 web application development and here we are implementing assignment number 2b assignment 2b okay. I'll save this file then inside this docker file you have to write only three to four lines of codes so first is from from is in capital all the letters are in capital then space then node then colon and then alpine a l p i n e make sure you don't have the space between these colons then in the next line you have to write copy space dot space slash and then the name of your folder so here i am having the part b as my folder name and then the last command is cmd space node space dot oh sorry node space slash folder name is part b and inside that i am having yogesh.js file so i'll write here yogesh.js so that much code only we have to write inside this docker file in js file i am just writing a simple commands for showing you you can write the j uh, about the js application or you can create one form or something like that like that if you are familiar with js then next i'll save both files and now i'll open terminal so go to terminal and new terminal so it will take time yes now my terminal is ready and i am in the correct path that is assignment number two part b if you are not in the correct path then you have to go to your cur current directory by writing cd and then the path in which you want to execute the commands so now first command we'll try here is docker hyphen hyphen version okay. so my docker is installed successfully next we'll uh, write the command as docker build now uh, here i am not having the node.js installed so if you are have if you are having the node.js then you have to write the command as node space the name of your file js file dot extension and you have to hit enter so i'll get error because i am not having the node.js installed so you'll get the output that is the content inside this file will be displayed here after executing this command that is node yogesh.js so next command I'll execute is about the docker build space dash t space the name of your folder. So name of my folder is part b then space and you have to give dot and then enter. So now it is building the images for this part b folder. So it means it uh, creating the container. Okay. Now uh, images uh, my docker images built successfully now i'll execute the command as docker images and i'll be able to see the repository then tag then image id and then the time when i have created that and the size so here you can see that part b repository because my folder name is part b then it's showing the latest okay tag and then image id is this and it is created 15 seconds ago and the size is 172 mb so in this way we have created the docker image so now let's understand what is the docker and what is docker container so docker is an open platform which is used for developing shipping and running applications and it provides the ability to run an application in a loosely isolated environment and that environment is nothing but the container and because of this isolation and security we can run many containers simultaneously on a given host so it's a bit complicated for the uh, newbies so in short if you are develop if you are a developer and if you are developing one software and you have developed the software and you have given it to the 
testing team or the other developer then if that developer found some bug then it will not send that uh, application or software to you it will make changes to the same image id because we are sharing image id with that developer and it will make some changes or remove that bugs using this image id and after all the bugs are removed and application is ready for the testing it will send it to the testing team and then it will be given to the customer so in this way we can use this docker images for our development and as well as for shipping and running applications so this much only this assignment is having first is we have to install the docker desktop or docker toolbox depending on your system requirement then we have to install the node.js for node.js you will require 8.1 or higher windows then next is we have to install the docker extension in our visual studio code which is from microsoft then we have to create one folder with lowercase name and then we have to create files inside that so first file will be docker file where d is capital and no extension for that file inside that we have written the three lines of code then we have created the js file and then i have written some commands inside that or code using console.log and then we have executed only four commands inside this terminal first is the docker version which is used to check the docker version then next we have used uh, node and then the file name with extension so as uh, node is not installed in my system so it's showing me error but if you have installed it successfully it will show you the content of this file that is name class subject and assignment number two then next is we have created the images so for that we have used docker build dash t and the name of the folder space dot then you will see the here steps 3 and 4 sometimes you will see 5 or that also then next is we have you uh, use the command docker images to see the images so here you will see the details about the images such as repository tag image id the time when it is created and the size so that's it for this assignment if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section all the links and the steps are mentioned in the description box so do check out the description box so thanks for watching, we'll see in the next video.